In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how can we design a motocross tire with the thread on it and texture it in Blender. So let's get down to it. The first thing I'd like to drag this reference and put it in our 3D scene. So we can simply expand this left or the right menu and on the bottom, you can click on this plus and take it up. And I want you to switch this menu or this panel to the image editor. So next, all we have to do is to simply drag this tire and drop it here. All right, so let's go ahead and I'd like to delete everything. So I'm going to press A, X and delete everything we got in our scene. I'm going to press 7 to go to the top, Shift A and let's go to Mesh, start with the plane. And also we need to drag this reference image and drop it here. So we can do this, simply drag it and drop it here. Press G to have it centered. All right, so with this plane selected, this plane selected, I'd like to scale it real down and let's put it we can just use one simple vertex so Control i x delete the rest let's start with this simple vertex so i'm gonna press g and we can start from here so if we pay close attention to the tire design you're gonna find that we ha we're having only this part duplicated this is the only part that we need to create and after that we can simply duplicate it multiple times all right so let's do that i would like to extrude press e to extrude upside here and keep extruding until you finish creating this shape. Okay, for the last two vertices, we can press simply press F to fill that gap. All right, next, let's work on this side one. So I'm gonna just extrude, extrude like this. For the last two vertices, press F to fill. And for the third object, this object here. So since it's symmetrical, so if we you can see that this is the right side and this is the left side. So we're going to just focus on the right side and we're going to use the mirror modifier to duplicate it on the left side. So let's select this single vertex, shift D, duplicate, and let's center it. For example, here, you can extrude up like this. Okay, extrude up. And we can fill these last two vertices. Excellent. So now we have three objects. So the last object to do is this one so we can for example simply duplicate this object shift d to duplicate it and let's type g y to move it down and we can type s x and or actually s y we need to invert it to the other side so s y and minus one you can type minus one and let's place it at the right place for example here excellent so now we're having our thread design so what we need to do is to extrude it up so let's go ahead and do that. We can also press F to fill everything. And let's type E, you can extrude them up, something like that. And let's go ahead and use the mirror modifier. So we can go, so we can go to the modifier properties and let's add the mirror modifier, this one. All right, so it should be on the X axis, but as you can see, it's spawned here. It should be spawning on the left side. So what we can do is to simply adjust the center of origin. Instead of having it right here, it should be here. So on the edit mode, I'd like to select this face. Shift S, select it to cursor. You can press 7 to go to the top. And let's go to object, set origin, and origin to the 3D cursor. So now as you can see, it's duplicated on this pivot point. Also, we can fix this clipping problem that we got here. So I'd like to check the clipping so that we can stop right at the middle. Let me just show you. So that you can stop right here and we can just delete this inner face. So X and delete that face. Excellent. All right, so the next step is gonna be to connect all these parts together. So, but before doing that, let me just select everything by pressing A, let's take them up. We can delete the bottom faces because we don't gonna need them. So let's press X and delete those faces. After that, what we need to do is to simply connect all these parts together. So we can select, for example, these two edges and we can press F to fill and let's continue doing this way. Here we can extrude, we can type E, X, go to the left side. For example, here at the top, let's select these two edges, press F to fill them. This one can take it a little bit backward. We can select these two edge lines, press F and let's continue filling those spaces okay let's select these four edge lines press F excellent on the front here let's continue doing the same thing 
So I'm going to select this face, this edge, EX to extrude it. Select these two edge lines, press F, and let's continue our selection. So on the left side, I want you to select all these edges and type EX, you can take them sideways, and type SX and press 0. You need to have them flat. Same thing here on the front, let me select all these edges and try to extrude them forward. So EY, you can expand them to this location. And since we're going to be using the ray modifier to duplicate this object, so the start and the end of this object must be the same so that we aren't going to have any weird geometry stuff. So to do that, I'd like to duplicate this line. So Shift D, I'd like to duplicate it and take it backward, for example, here. And we can press Alt to select this edge line. Shift Alt, select this new edge line. Control E, and let's use bridge edge loops. So now the start and the end are the same. They are continuous. All right, so let's go ahead and add the array modifier and let's see how it goes. So basically the array modifier should be on the Y axis. So I would like to set the Y to one and the X factor to zero. So it looks right. So all we have to do is to just decrease this amount. So to something like 0.9, let me just check. I think that's a little bit too much. So we can press shift to slow down that movement. So let's go ahead and add more count, increase that count. Nice. But also before we can continue, we need to bevel these uh, shapes, this thread. As you can see, it looks a little bit sharp and not reflective at all. So what I'd like to do is to select our thread design. So let's switch to the wireframe and we can select only the top part. And after that, we can press Control B to bevel it. Let's bevel it like this. You can also increase that, for example, to three. Nice. You can do right click and shade smooth. It looks a little bit messed up because it has to do with the normals. So on the edit mode, I want to just select everything and type Shift N. Now, as you can see, the normals are fixed. But also here, let me check. We need to do some investigation to our geometry. So here it's a little bit messed up. Let me check the bottom. can try to relax those vertices, something like that. Let me check if we're having some other problems. For example, here we're having this clipping. So let me just try to separate. We can also do this. Let me just switch the wireframe. I'd like to select all these vertices and we can go to vertex and we can use the smooth vertices so we can increase this smoothing to something like one so now we don't have that stretching anymore excellent all right so the next step is going to be to curve our thread and make it look like our reference image so to do that i like to rely on a reference image this side cut of our tire so i'd like to for example let's press one to go to the front and let's simply drag and drop this side reference image. All right, after that, we can simply scale it real down and let's put it here. After that, let's select our mesh and on the edit mode, we need to make it follow this curvature. So I'd like to activate the proportion editing and for the type, I'd like to use the sharp. So let's take, for example, this and we can simply try to check it down. But before doing that, we can switch to the wireframe and let's try to you can scroll that a little bit down like this let me try to sel select everything try to check it up let's take this one even down probably a little bit to the left side something like this and after that we can switch to the wireframe and i'd like to deactivate the proportion editing tool and on the vertex mode i want you to select all these vertices Let's press one again and we can take them inside and continue extruding two or three times something like this all right so let's go back and we can just hide our reference image to see the shape of that it looks pretty much good also i'd like to add this kind of inset that we got right here 
so to do that we can for example press alt here take it a little bit up we can try control b to bevel it and we can try to check this one inside control r again something like this so now we have that it looks pretty much similar to this also for example here on the bottom we can try ex try to check it a little bit inside press alt right here and control b you can bevel this area too all right so now let's make our shape rounded like this so to do that we need to add the circle so i'm gonna press n and let's go to the view i want you to take this 3d cursor a little bit down something like this so we can do that by changing this z location of our 3d cursor something like this and after that let's add let's spawn a new object so shift a we can go to curve and let's use a circle all right so we got our circle it's laid down so what we need to do is on the edit mode type r y and let's spin it by 90 degree okay after that i want you to scale it real up something like this all right so now the next step is going to be to select our object and let's add the curve modifier so on the modifiers let's add the curve this curve and for this curve object i want you to click on this eyedropper and pick this circle okay so it looks really bad but all we have to do is to just spin it on the z-axis so let's type r z and we can move our mouse a little bit to the left side and so we can type minus nine degree to have that perfect angle and all you have to do right now is to simply take this tire and move it down on the z-axis until it touches our circle something like that and after that all we have to do is to just increase this array modifier you can increase this count to something like let's see 11. also i'd like to scale up this tire so let me just select it here and type sx we can scale it a little bit down all right now it looks much more better probably a little bit down here and let's just increase that count to let me just see 17 we can scale it down shift there we go so this is our tire and it looks awesome all right so what i'd like to do is to add some hair particles to our tire so let me just show you the way to do it so for example we can select random vertices these for example and we can extrude them we can type shift d to duplicate them type ey extrude them outside check them up a little bit like this and extrude one more time all we have to do right now is to simply give them some depth so let's go i'm gonna press to reach go to the side and we can do it just the traditional way so i'm going to type ex to extrude them a little bit like this and after that we can select the entire units and we can extrude them down a little bit so let's type e z z like this something like this looks acceptable all right so as a last step what i'd like to do is to go ahead and texture our tire so let me just show you the way to texture it so i'd like to duplicate it first so shift d to duplicate it and let's go to object convert into a mesh so now all these modifiers are applied so i'd like to check it for example here let's zoom on it on the edit mode let's go to the material properties and let's add a new material let's call it tire all right so here i'd like to expand this bottom window and let's switch it to the shader editor okay i'm gonna press n to hide that panel so for example here what i'd like to do is to simply drag this tire texture and let's connect to the base color okay so we got the color of our tire but we need to work a little bit on the uvs so let's split our scene into two parts so on the left part is gonna be for our uvs so on the edit mode let's select okay so i'm gonna select everything and type u and project from view bounds control space and let's take, take a look as you can see it's perfectly matching not perfectly so we can for example tweak this circle i'm gonna press o to activate the proportion editing and let's keep it as smooth i'd like to scale it a little bit down here check it a little bit down perfect all right so let's take a look at our tire so we got that 
title applied over there it looks really nice so all we have to do right now is to work a little bit on, on the bumps so control space let's add the bump node so shift a let's search for bump node connect the color to the height and the normal to the normal you can reduce the strength to something like 0.3 and also let's add another channel for the roughness so shift a let's search for kind of ramp let's put it here let's connect the color to the factor and the color here to the roughness control space let's go back and let's see that roughness so it's a little bit glossy so let's tweak it you can take the, the white handle move it to the right side same thing here also you can press control and left click to add the new handle and let's make it white all right it looks acceptable you can make this one a little bit dark okay so we got the bumps and we got the roughness all right so basically this is our tire it looks really much good so if you have any questions let me know so thank you for watching and i hope to see you in future tutorials take care